Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls, and today I'm very, very excited because we are going to be doing my Sephora um, Play Box review from May, and then I got my very second box from Sephora for um, June to open. So you guys, like I said, I was so pleased last month with the products, and I'm just going to go ahead and do a little mini review of everything that I used. Um, and kind of tell you how everything went and then we'll do the unboxing for June. So guys, first up was this little mask um, kit from Origins and it has a maskamizer which is basically a mask primer and then you have your two masks here. Now obviously I didn't use any of this yet. I am actually probably going to use it tonight after I get done filming um, and uh, like I said I'm probably going to actually do this in a separate review just because I want to do some mask videos so this will be coming soon so stay tuned for that. I am excited about it. Origins is a very nice brand. I really really do like it. And then kimchi um, came from this little bite, or the name of this lipstick is kimchi, and it was from Bite Lipstick, which is awesome. Bite is a beautiful brand. The one thing about this lipstick is it is bright, hot, fuchsia pink, and I just am not a, um, this is not my color. So um, it's just a little bit too bright for me, but I don't know. Um, I do love the product. The quality is definitely there. It is so good, nice, and even though it's a mini size, it's absolutely beautiful. This next up is a Briogeo Don't Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. And I think last time when I opened it, I told you guys that I think I had this before in an Ipsy bag, actually, and I did not like it. Um, I just have so many other deep conditioning hair masks that are so much better better than this. So for me this is definitely not a win and I probably will use it up just to use it up but it's definitely not my favorite. There are so many other better drugstore products for cheaper that are amazing deep conditioning hair repair masks so no go for me. Next up is this Kors Wild Rose Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial in the shade, or not shade, in the scent Rose Sauvage, and I absolutely loved this product. It has the most natural rose scent that I have ever had in my life. It was just beautiful. It did make my skin feel softer when I used it. Um, I wore this at night and just kind of let it sit on my face, and it definitely just light, it's creamy, it sinks in. And it just has that beautiful rose smell. So I absolutely loved this product and I was happy to try it because it's something that I probably would have never have picked up otherwise. And then we had a Tartist uh, lip, uh, lip liner. Sorry, I couldn't think of what it was. In the shade Later Graham. Now this was a, also kind of like a mini size. This is a really nice lip liner. I wasn't really sure what to think. Um, with this. I was worried that it might be a little orange, but it actually is just a very um, kind of brown, uh, brownie rose color. It actually works well with a lot of my nude browns, um, brownie pink shades. So it's a high quality lip liner. I think these are actually really nice, so I definitely will get some use out of later, Graham. And then the last thing was a perfume or cologne sample. This is the Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. And I think I told you guys last time, this was so, so nice. It smells like fresh orange slices. There's no um, sweetness to it. It's just a beautiful light citrus. And I am very picky when it comes to perfumes, and I loved this. I even loved it so much that I got the new Sephora It's Chic It, Chic it Easy set, and I got a bigger <laughs> spray bottle of this. Um, the one thing I was so disappointed to find out, though, is the large, like, regular size bottle is, like, $100. This is a very expensive perfume. Um, so I was really happy to get this in the Sephora Favorites kit. It was a super well worth the $50 spent on that kit because it came with so many other good products. But I love this, um, and I can't say that about many perfumes. I'm just not into them. So really, really enjoyed this as well. So for that bag, I would say three were definite hits. The mask I still have to try, but I'm very excited to get the opportunity to try it. This was just not my shade with the lipstick, and this is just to me not a great product when I have so many others that work so much better. So guys, now we're going to go ahead and unbox the June box, and they always give you a little, um, kind of like a little 
card that tells you about all the products. So we're going to keep that secret for a little bit because I like to be surprised. But it also gives you this little card that basically if you um, use this in store, you can get 50 extra beauty insider points with your purchase. So that's kind of nice and I definitely will use this if I have anything to purchase. So we got another little bag. It's a little bit different. The print is. It's the same bag, but we got a different kind of print on the front and it just says play, hashtag Sephora play. Okay guys. And the first thing I see is a, an empty perfume. Hold on. We lost it. We lost it. Here it is. Okay. So this is the Toka Florence perfume. So you can see that right there. Really pretty packaging. And again, this is just a sample, so nothing crazy. It's not even a, a spray. You have to just pop this little top off, which I'm terrible at doing this. So, okay, we did it. This is not bad. It um actually smells like... Is it jasmine? It's very... It's a nice floral. It is not a sweet floral. It's actually like one of the, a nicer flower scent. And you guys, I'm actually really surprised that I have been enjoying these perfumes. I really am picky and I rarely get stuff that I actually like. This is definitely very nice. It's a beautiful, um, subtle floral. It's like a, it reminds me of a gardenia or a jasmine. Um, and those are my favorite types of flowers. So, oh my gosh. So, so far, I really, really like this one. Next up, I see a Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It hair styler. Great for hair days without the heat or hassle. So this is interesting. I've ever actually never had any Bumble and Bumble products, but I do hear a lot about Bumble and Bumble. People say it's a very nice brand. Um, just trying to see if it smells. Kind of has a nice, light, fresh scent to it. Nothing too crazy. But we'll definitely have to try that out when I do my hair. It's a little wet right now, so we'll see. Oh my gosh. Yes! I love Becca products, and this is a Becca sample, well, sample size, but still Becca. Backlight Priming Filter. I have wanted to try this. Um, I am so excited. That is really, really cool. Oh, how neat. So this, like I said, it's a sample size, and it still has a little baby pump. So let me see if I can pump some on here just to give you a small look. I've really heard good things about this and I've really wanted to try it and I've almost bought the sample size that they have. So it's definitely got a glowy kind of look to that primer. It doesn't really smell like anything but it's actually really kind of pretty so you see that there's a little bit of a glow there. Um, I think for summertime especially, this product would be a lot of fun when you're trying to do like a glowy look. And lately I've just been digging that kind of, that nice subtle glow. So I'm really happy to try this and not pay the crazy amount that Becca is, but it's worth it because Becca does have high quality. Except for the Jaclyn Hill eye palette thing. But you guys know I love mine. I absolutely love it, so I really can't say that. I feel bad for the people who got bad ones though. Okay guys, next up it's a Tarte product and you guys know I've been loving, loving Tarte lately. This is the Tarte Guard 30 Sunscreen Lotion SPF 30 and it comes in this cute little pink bottle and um, I haven't heard the best things about this particular product but I have wanted to try it for myself because I also really need sunscreen for my face and I need stuff that's not going to break me out. My face is really sensitive when it comes to sunscreen. It's not sensitive when it comes to other things. Um, I can wear a lot of foundation, I can wear a lot of primers that don't seem to bother me but for some reason sunscreen just tends to be something my face does not like at all. So it's just white. This is what it looks like. And I'm just trying to see, you know, if it feels tacky or if it feels like it's going to sink in. It definitely definitely feels like it's um, it's not too thick, but it does, like, I can feel it. So uh, what I want is to not really feel my sunscreen, and that's hard to do because you have to have some kind of, you know, thickness to sunscreen in a way for it to work. But it's not it's not crazy thick. It's, it's better than some of the stuff that I've tried. I don't think it has a scent. It seems very, very neutral. So you can't see it once you blend it in. It's just white. So nothing really crazy about it. It's sunscreen. But it is something I need and I am excited just to give it a shot. And I think this is just a nice little kind of sample. And it's super cute. You guys know, like, minis. I'm obsessed with minis. Okay, next up is a Benefit Their Real Mascara. And I really love Benefit. I love Their Real. Um, so I'm happy to have this sample. I love... 
a lot of their products and I do think that they they do well when it comes to their real mascara and like I said I've tried it it's good so I know I'm going to like this as well we're not done I still think I have one thing left and this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Sheer Sun Serum Bronzer I don't think I've ever heard of a serum bronzer before so let's pop this out and see what it looks like okay so this is what it looks like up close and it says it is in the shade Bare Glow. So that's kind of cool. And I think it says to shake it up. You hear there's a little mechanism in there. Okay, it's a screw off cap. Okay, and it just looks like it's a little squeezy tube. So let's see how is that? Okay, so it comes out like liquid drops. All right, all right, I'm following. So there we are. So a bronzing serum, okay, this is like, almost feels like a bronzing oil. Ooh, wow. Doesn't really smell like much either. That's interesting. I really haven't heard anybody talk about this product, so I don't even know, like, how new it is, but I feel like you could kind of, again, put that all over your face if you wanted to maybe mix it in with foundation, maybe. Could you do that? I don't know. It's kind of seems like an oil almost, but I wonder if that would be kind of nice just to warm up your face as well. Um, I don't know if you would want to pack it on and do it like a real bronzer or not, or if it, again, just is supposed to be like a total, total glow for your face. Because um, it does kind of sheer out, but it does darken it a little bit, so you can't see it um, as strongly when you blend it out. But very cool. I'm excited. And again, summer bronze kind of colors. I think they themed this um, Sephora Play box very, very well for this month, and um, like I said, I, I'm really, like, to be honest, the things that I am very happy to try, um, this is by far my favorite, is the Becca Primer. This Toka um, perfume is beautiful, and the Sun Bronzer little thing is exciting. The Tarte, you know, I'm like, yes, very good, but it is just sunscreen, so I'm not, like, crazy. And then this is a really great product. I've tried it before, so I'm happy to try it again. So that would be five. And then the sixth, whoa, whoa, <laughs> I can't hold on to anything. Um, this one is the only one that I'm kind of like, I don't know. Like, um, I have a lot of stuff for my hair that I really like. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this or not, but it's definitely a high quality product. Um, I really am excited, guys. Like, I these are brands that I know and I recognize and I haven't tried necessarily all of this stuff. So very very excited about it and I think it's nice especially it to me it's only ten dollars it's it's like ipsy it's it's very affordable and Sephora is high-end stuff and I many times I just don't want to go in and buy something I'm not really big on returning things so like I if I'm going in to buy it I know that I want it I've tested it either in the store or I've read a bunch of reviews I'm just kind of that person so um, it's nice to be able to try some of the stuff especially like this Becca primer you know, like, is it something I really need? Or is this enough to just kind of tide me over and then I move on to something else? But anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Are you um, getting the Sephora Playbox? Do you want the Sephora Playbox? Uh, let me know if you have any questions down below. And of course, next month I will review the June box and I'll open up July box. So thanks guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!